All right, so today I wanted to talk about three ways to improve your testosterone. Now, all of these will kind of be obvious, except the last one, perhaps. All right, so, of course, your diet. You have to eat more cleanly. You have to eat more clean. You have to eat more ancestrally. You have to go a bit closer to paleo. Perhaps you want to go ketogenic, keto diet. Perhaps you want to go the carnivore route. You need meat, you need fish, you need eggs, you need a lot of protein, all of this stuff. You need to increase your testosterone levels. You need all these foods. Uh, all the foods our ancestors would have eaten, that's what you are supposed to eat, all right? Imagine yourself being like your ancestors and eating the best thing would be actually to eat wild game. So you should focus on high quality food, wild game as much as you can, wild fish, wild caught fish in perhaps in like Iceland and great waters. All right, because you want to avoid metals, you want to avoid toxicity as well. You don't want to harm your body. We're not here to harm our body. We're here to just, well, to simply become optimal, perfecting ourselves. All right, that's the whole point of this. We want to perfect ourselves and we got to work on ourselves, obviously. So this is something you have to work on. You have to find your diet, something you enjoy. It doesn't have to be the same way I eat. So for example, I eat eggs, I usually eat eggs, some eggs and some fish, some meat, uh, some, it can be pork, it can be beef, it can be uh, something else, all right? But I, you try, I try to go and you should try to go as close as ancestral as possible. So for example, wild game meat, you have to introduce more wild game meat. If you can, you should focus on local foods as well. Now, obviously, when I speak of all of this, all of this is, as you can see, raw foods or whole foods or whatever you want to call it. You have to eat all that stuff. You, you have to ignore prepackaged foods that put a lot of artificial, um, that put a lot of artificial sweeteners, flavor, flavors and flavor enhancers and a lot of this material that your body doesn't want, that doesn't need, and it hinders your testosterone and, you know, your well-being in general, actually. And so you gotta just skip that stuff, eat as close as ancestrally as you can. You should also eat nuts, carrots, roots, true roots, not potatoes. Avoid carbs. Most people, I think, should avoid carbs. You get lethargic, you gotta prepare them properly, you can't bake them, you can't fry them, you should boil them, and perhaps you should boil them and then put them in the fridge and then, you know, take them out and eat, but usually potatoes are quite inflammatory, all right? So eat as ancestrally as possible, avoid rice, bread, of course, you avoid all these things, you eat meat, fish, egg, roots, nuts, some, fr some fruit, you can eat some fruits. Focus on berries, strawberries, elderberries, blueberries, whatever berries you can find. All of that will help you with your testosterone levels. Our ancestors had high amounts of testosterone. It's not like they were sitting, you know, they were active. So number two, of course, is exercise. You gotta exercise regularly. It's not enough to exercise 20 minutes every day and then just sit the rest of the time of the day, all right? You have to either walk or constantly move or at least, at the very least, if you're an, in, an, in an office, if you're in an office or you're working at home and stuff like that, try to avoid sitting down for too long, all right? Try to get a standing desk at your work or at home or wherever you work, all right? Or if you work in a cafe or something, at least, at the very least, stand up every, let's say, 20, 20 minutes and, and so forth, all right? Or stand up for one hour every one hour or something like that. You gotta 
you got to stand up as much as you can. You got to be as physical as you can. Farmers where, for example, are, and still are, uh, they have the best, you know, physical activity. The exercise for farmers is throughout the whole day, you know. You, they don't have to train a lot for, let's say, 30 minutes, like 45 minutes or one hour per day. Now, I do that. I train hard for one hour per day. And I usually uh, ended up relaxing on Saturdays and Sundays. But now I'm kind of back to training Saturdays as well and then just skipping Sunday. Now, if you're, if you're starting out, you have to have the mentality of training every day, every single day, all right? Otherwise, you're never going to see results or you will feel disappointed. You might stop, so you've got to just keep it up, keep, keep it going. And of course, all of this helps with testosterone levels. You training and building muscle will naturally enhance your, your um, testosterone levels. So you train every day, you, you find an exercise you love, otherwise this won't last for long, all right? So the third step or the third way will be this strange thing that I do. And you can visualize yourself. You can do this either when you train, eat, or whenever you want to. So you can see it a bit like meditation, like a visualization meditation, like imagery meditation, but when you're active, so it's an active meditation. You visualize that you're a warrior from perhaps, you know, whatever age you, you, you'd like, like the Middle Ages or Renaissance or the ancient Greeks, for example, like in um, Sparta, you can imagine yourself as a Spartan. All physiological stuff, all biochemical, all biochemistry in your brain, all dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and all that stuff, even, you know, all the cortisol and other hormones and so forth that and also testosterone, I believe, you know, our minds, whatever you believe in, like, if you think about testosterone often and being manly and, you know, training and, and use all this stuff and align all of them together and constantly and consistently think about this stuff and train, of course, consistently and eat consistently. And when you align all those three ways, you will increase your testosterone levels and you will increase muscle mass, you will eat more and so forth, all right, and cleaner. So, but I believe these visualizations are important as well. So I visualize myself, I see myself, but let's say with some scar or something like a battle scar, I've been in a war in the, in the year 361 or something, but it's fun, you know, you can use this. this is part of the joy, you know, part of the joy in the process, as I always say. You got to find the joy in the process, otherwise none of this will work in the long run. All right, so, so here is another visualization I do sometimes. So sometimes I imagine someone else, so for example, Thor. So if I train calisthenics outdoors, for example, I imagine Thor, even better if it's raining or something, then I imagine Thor giving me light and stuff like that. All the light goes through me and I can actually do, actually do more push-ups or pull-ups and so forth. Because of the increase in mentality, in the mindset, I will also increase my sets and my repetitions. And also because of that, I will increase my testosterone because the, the body has to create more testosterone and build more muscles. And then I have to, of course, rest, of course, you know, but so you and you eat cleanly because and you give your body what it wants you know you give your body the ancestral you go back to the manly you know you imagine yourself going back to the manly this this is a whole mindset all right this is a whole thing it's a whole mindset so the mindset the third way is actually more important than just diet the first way and the second way the exercise, all right? But all three work together, you know? All right, so if you have any problems with this, with diet, exercise, wellness in general, 
health, meditation, sleep. Uh, if you have troubles working on your foundation, as I call it, you can contact me. The email is down below. You can send me an email if you have any questions or you can ask the questions in the comment section down below. All the information of what I'm about and my language is in the about page. If you have any questions, as I said, you can just put them down there. Um, like, subscribe or don't like, don't subscribe, I don't care. Uh, share it. This is more important. Share it in real life to people. If you find it useful, share it. Keep on working on yourself. Focus only on yourself. Everything will be great. Everything will be fine. See you tomorrow.